Hey, what's up, everybody? Sean Tipping here. I've got a class coming up on parasitic draw diagnostics. This is going to be Wednesday, August 6th, and the following Wednesday, the 13th, it will be a two part, two hours each. We are going to cover a structured path that I've created for diagnosing parasitic draws, right? Finding the source of what is taking current away from that battery when everything is supposed to be shut off. And these can be some of the most challenging diagnostics that shops get into. We get a ton of calls on them I'm running the mobile business in the Twin Cities, Minnesota area here. And what we find on a lot of these parasitic draws nowadays is that it's not just as simple as a light bulb or a radio that's stuck on. A lot of the time, what we are finding is that networks on the vehicle will have an entire network that is staying awake, staying active, which because of that, causes several different modules to stay awake and draw current off of the battery. So we'll talk about the traditional methods of, you know, using the voltage drop across the fuses and figuring out where the current is going that way. We are going to talk about breaking down the electrical system, like how I structure the electrical system in any car to find where that draw is actually leaving the battery. But if we get to something when we see, okay, there's five or six different fuses that have current flowing through them, where do we go with this? Again, this often ends up being a network or a module issue. So how do we break that down? How do we get to the source of, hey, which module is causing everybody else to be awake? And then beyond that, why is that module staying on drawing current? It may be the fault of the module, but sometimes not. Sometimes there's even more to it where we're going into a switch or something connected to that module that is causing it to stay awake. So again, I've got a repeatable efficient structured path that you can use to help you get through these parasitic draw diagnostics. So I hope everybody can sign up. I am excited to see you there. We'll see you in August.